In this example, we're told we have water flowing downward through a pipe inclined at a 45 degree angle. So this is water headed from point A to point B here. And the pressure difference, PA minus PB, is partially due to gravity and partially to viscous dissipation. The idea here, and we'll talk about this later in the class, is when you have water flowing through a pipe, because of the viscosity in the water, you have to push a little bit harder at point A than at point B in order to get it to flow from A to B. Here we have a combination of gravity helping to pull the water downward and some pressure difference that's uh, pushing the water from A to B. So there's some combination of that. So that, that pressure PA minus PB is due to those two contributions. We're asked to find the pressure difference if, between A and B, so PA minus PB, if we're told that L, this distance, is five meters and H, this distance, is six centimeters. And we're told that water, or I'm sorry, mercury is the working fluid in the manometer. So this is mercury here. And the lighter grade stuff is water. All right, so the way we can find the pressure difference is we can use this U-tube manometer um, and find the pressures that way. So I'll say that the pressure right here, point A, is the same pressure right at the start of the left leg of the manometer. And the pressure right here at B is the same pressure right at the, the top of the left, right leg of the manometer. From the geometry, you can see that this distance from here to here is going to be L sine theta. That's just from the geometry. We, we have this um, hypotenuse of this triangle right here. There's the hypotenuse. Here's the angle theta. So this will be L sine theta. This distance it goes all the way over to here. Let's just give that some arbitrary little l. I don't know what that is. Uh, we're not told enough information to figure it out, but it, it turns out it won't matter. So let's just give it that. And of course, this distance right here is h. That's given right here. So let's go ahead and work this as a manometer problem. So we're going to we're going to find the pressure at b starting with the pressure at a. So I'll write pb. The pressure I'm trying to find is the pressure at a, the pressure where I'm starting. I'm going to add in the weight of the water over that distance, L sine theta. So I'm adding in the weight of the water, so it's density of water times G times L sine theta. Then I get to this point, and then I'm going to add in the weight of the water over that little distance, L, to get the pressure there. So we add in uh, density of water times G times little L. So now I'm at this, this point right here. Now I'm going to add in the last little bit of water over distance h. So now I have the pressure right at this point, right at the interface with the mercury. Now, since I'm in the mercury, I can come over here to this point. Uh, since I can move laterally in the same fluid, now let me work my way up. So I'm going to work my way up to this point here. I'm moving in the mercury, so I'm going to subtract out the weight of the mercury over that distance h. Then I'm going to subtract out the weight of the water, which to get me up to the point b, so that'll be minus density of the water times g times little l. That last term right here is this little bit here, which is over distance l. So again, start at the pressure at a. I add in the weight of the water there. There's the weight of the water over that l sine theta. Add in the weight of the water there over distance little l. Add in the weight of the water over that distance h. Move laterally because I'm in mercury and I can move laterally and have the same pressure. And then I move upward through the mercury a distance of h. So I'm subtracting out the weight of the mercury over that distance. And then now I'm back in the water and I'm subtracting out the weight of the water over that distance little l. And you'll look at this and you'll see that the, these terms cancel one another out. So you didn't really need to know that little l value anyway. So pressure at uh, I guess we wanted the pressure at A minus the pressure at B. So this will end up being rho of the mercury times G times H minus the density of the water times G times H minus the density of the water times G times L sine theta. So this is just rearranging some terms. And um, I can just leave it just like that. We're given some information here about uh, the values. We're told that L is five meters, we're told that H is six centimeters, so that'll be 0 0.06 meters. Gravity, of course, is 9.81 meters per second squared. 
and the density of water is a thousand kilograms per cubic meter and the density of mercury it's another one that's good to remember it's 13,600 kilograms per cubic meter so when you work out the numbers PA minus PB comes out to be minus 27.3 kilopascals and it doesn't we don't have to specify gauge or absolute because it's a pressure difference so it's the same pressure difference whether it's a gauge pressure or an absolute pressure so the pressure at A is actually uh, less than the pressure at B for this particular case. All right, we'll go ahead and end the example there.